Hey guys, this is just a quick video running through some of the things that you should know for your final exam. I'm doing this partially due to the lateness of this topic or the previous pipe flow topic, but mostly because you will desperately need it. Uh, this is only a guide, so don't hold me accountable if your evil lecturers set an exam completely opposite to this advice, uh, which is probably likely to happen, so careful of that. Um, and that's with any other subjects as well, so anything can be tested. So in the fluid properties topic, remember to put units. It's surprising how many people forget to put units and make sure they're the right ones. For submerged surfaces, always draw out the pressure prism and the pressure forces uh, and your distances as well. So like dr1, dr2. Always draw them out because not only does it help you with uh, some of moments around a point, it illustrates to the marker um, what forces you're looking at. For the buoyancy and stability topic, remember when to use fluid properties and when to use material properties of, of the submerged object. It gets a bit confusing. And always draw the free body diagram because you will have um, forces on different points of the submerged surface, so on the top surface or the center of gravity or the center of mass. So uh, always draw anything you can really. Uh, for fluids in motion, use just use the provided equation. There's no real tricks to uh, to this topic. Bernoulli equation, this is a big topic. Um, there's a few things here. Always establish a datum in your diagram. So write datum and a line on the datum or you can notate it as uh, an arrow pointing up from line with a Z next to it. So that's where your Z axis starts and always draw the streamline and the start and end points. So in this example, this was a, um, a sluice gate. I drew a streamline along the bed and I numbered it one to two. Then follow up your diagram. Uh, this is just a recommendation, but it's a good way to set out your working, uh, say for streamline one to two, and then follow that up with the Bernoulli equation itself and write in each of the values that you know and all your unknowns. So just set it out like that and makes it a bit easier to mark and easier to um, work things out. For conservation of mass, um, although most problems end up with simply Q in equals Q out or